assalamu alaikum and welcome back dear students so today i'm going to solve question two from practical paper of as level chemistry uh, 9701 9701 slash 33 okay so i'm solving question two question one is already discussed and i will share the link uh, in the description if you want to uh, show or if you want to learn about that question as well so proceeding with this question and straightforward remember one thing while you are going while you are practicing and doing this practical exam in your original uh, exam paper no need to worry about just do simply as directed by the examiner okay no need to panic just focus on the steps and then try to do as directed what i repeatedly say to my students please do as directed no need to worry about okay just do this simple and make it simple and you will see the results okay so now proceeding straightforward you can see in this experiment you will identify the metal m in the metal carbonate mco3 we don't know metal it could be any metal okay and also keep that in mind the group 2 carbonates the group 2 is included in our syllabus plus the period 3 so usually all the questions like from this type of the situation you can expect that the metal belongs to period 3 okay or group 2 or group 2 in either case you can easily see the indication goes to magnesium if we deal about the period 3 then we can say it should be magnesium and if we go for group 2 it could be then beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium any metal from the group 2 you can expect so usually what i said it's not perfect it could be different according to the material given to you in your exam but usually what i said usually it could be according to your syllabus from as level 9701 chemistry it could be a metal from period 3 so in that case you can consider it's magnesium or sodium as well group 1 okay but usually group 2 so that that's why group 1 is not included in our syllabus so we can focus for group 2 so it could be any metal from these so anyhow proceeding then he says that fa4 is the metal carbonate okay there is a method as i said do as directed make it very simple and try to whatever the directions are do as directed okay so what he says wait the empty crucible with the its lid record the mass transfer all of the fa4 from container into the crucible so the indication they says that you are provided fa4 in any container okay it could be a test tube or any bottle small bottle so it could be any container and we have to shift it into a crucible so usually we can say we have this type of a crucible like a small one okay like this so this type of the crucible and we have lid over here we have lid like this it fits over here and we have like this so this could be the lid so this type of the situation we have okay so this is crucible and then you what you have to go uh, to the nearest to your table to your station wherever the balance is provided straightforward go to that part and then try to make your uh, try not to uh, disturb or uh, what we can say don't interfere with any of the uh, buttons on the mass just put your crucible on that balance and try to note down whatever the mass it is okay so try not to interfere with any of the buttons any of the switches too but make sure the balance should be on and it should be properly balanced like 
there must not be any situation that uh, it could be moving okay the table could not be or uh, should be stable okay so table should be stable at position and then you have to make readings put the crucible over there now weigh the crucible lid and fa4 record the mass i will tell you how but straightforward just read these instructions calculate and record the mass of f4 used then by using the difference you can easily find what mass of the f4 we used then place the crucible and contents on a pipe clay triangle it could be like uh, we can say metal okay a wire over this wire there should be like this type of a clay and it is in the form of like this triangle there is a pipe and inside the pipe there is a wire so again from this a wire and then over here a clay reddish brown type a clay so this makes a triangle and this is called as pipe clay triangle now you have to put that pipe clay triangle over a tripod stand and then uh, place the burner underneath and try to and then light it on okay you may get help from any of the workers any of the lab technicians that are around or any or you can e straightforward ask to your examiner by just raising your hands if your burner is not on okay then make the uh, shift and transfer all of the uh, fa4 into that and then try to heat it then place the crucible content and pipe triangle heat the crucible gently with the lid on for approximately one minute for this you may have to use your stopwatch okay which should be provided if not then you may also demand that then heat strongly with the lid off for a further four minutes so continuous heating then replace the lid and leave the crucible to cool for at least five minutes so before cooling uh, we have to put the lid on and then try to cool it down after that he examiner says that at you may not uh, waste your these time five minutes so you may start practicing or start solving your next question okay so during the cooling period you may wish to begin work on question three so it's more advisable so you have not to waste your time you have to start working and continue for working on further questions or from the previous question you may solve some of the calculation which you left okay then when the crucible has cooled you may touch it with your hands okay and then if you feel that it could be handled easily then go back to the weighing machine and then uh, noted the down the mass what is happening after the first heating then he says that heat strongly with the lid off for a further two minutes now heat it again this is called as the second heating and this is done to check that is there any further change in mass is there any further change in mass then when the crucible has cooled repeat repeatedly then next time cool it down again and then reweight the crucible and if you found that there is still decrease in mass then you have to heat it for the third time and if you see if you observe that there is no decrease in mass or very less significant decrease in mass then you can consider that this is the uh, end of heating and all of the metal carbonate whatever is provided is completely decomposed done now take the readings after cooling take the readings and now we are proceeding to show off what we have done okay you must have to need all uh, readings in a rough way and then when all of the readings are done now you have to do a very systematic very uh, in a very comprehensive way represent your results how in the form of a table like i'm going to draw a table you may use use your scale so that there must be proper readings so first of all you have to say mass of empty crucible plus lid slash grams 
so in grams we are going to measure okay next you can say here we have let, roughly i'm noting it down as i didn't perform the experiment but i'm noting it down in a rough way so i consider like it has a mass of 16.85 uh, okay so 16.85 roughly next what you have today next you have to say mass of crucible plus lead plus fa4 plus fa4 in grams now i can say the mass is somehow 18.15 okay so your mass should not be more than two grams or two and a half gram okay may, may not be the fa4 mass should not be more or if you consider if the mass roughly you can also uh, make an idea what should be the mass so but keep that in mind it should be from 2 to 2.5 or 2 to 3 in between that or even more precisely you can say one more than one but not more than mm, three not more than three okay so just take sample readings and as i said do as directed that will easily direct you and lead you to a correct readings no need to worry about just do as the procedure is advised but more focus here how to take readings then you have to take mass of f a4 mass of f a4 used in grams how you have to subtract it when we subtract let me do subtraction so this will give you 1.3 here 1.30 okay so this should be the mass of fa4 the difference of these two readings the difference of these empty plus the fa4 when we subtract we get the mass of fa4 now start heating so we can say mass of crucible or even straightforward you can say mass after first heating but i'm writing in detail mass of crucible plus lead plus fa5 why i am writing fa5 instead of fa4 because we know that when we heat any metal carbonate it will change into its oxide and releases carbon dioxide as the equation is given okay in the start of the question so now fa4 turned into its oxide the carbonate changes into its oxide that's why i'm writing it is fa5 okay so we can say after first heating the mass goes little decrease and i can say it is 17.57 17.57 roughly okay so you have to do it your own calculation according to your veins then i said the procedure exact exactly said we have to cool it down and take the readings okay so if you can see that there is change in mass so you have to heat it for the third time so it uh, I've missed one thing mass of crucible plus lead plus FA5 after first heating after first heating and now here you can say crucible plus lead plus FA5 after second heating after second heating so let I say there is